Okay, using Adobe's uh, Creative Cloud file system is very easy. First of all, first thing, make sure you're logged into your Adobe account. So up on top here, uh, click on, looks like a little infinity symbol, it's really a cloud. Make sure you're logged into your account. So click that, so make sure you're logged in. Uh, I'll minimize this because we'll be coming back to this. Uh, and then uh, just using your finder, if you go to finder, do a new window, file, new finder window, or command N. Uh, you'll see your creative cloud over here on the left. Now, when you look at your files and you see all these little uh, green check marks, that means these folders, which these folders are on your local computer, that means these are synchronized with Adobe Cloud. So, I mean, there's copies of these uh, on Adobe server somewhere in the cloud. So, this is good. So, now every time you do something, if you drag something in or drag something out, uh, they're going to synchronize. Now, the other place to see this, if you go back to that little uh, cloud up on top, or also now in your uh, dock, you'll see the creative cloud icon too, usually. You can click on this cloud over here, go to creative cloud web, and you'll see all the folders on the web. And this is where you, know, you can also share folders from here too. Now, the other thing, uh, you may want to see your, your Creative Cloud folder uh, in Adobe Bridge. So let's open up Adobe Bridge. We'll minimize everything else. Open up Bridge. So uh, my bridge is already running. So now on the side over here, you should see you should see a list of favorites. Now, these are built in. So these are mine. So for example, here's my Google Drive. So here's all my files on my Google Drive. Uh, let's zoom out of this. There we go. Uh, now, if you want to put in your, your Creative Cloud, you'll find it under your user uh, menu over here. So in my case, it says Tony. Click on Tony. Uh, over here, here we go, Creative Cloud Files. I want to look at it as a list, might be easier to read. So here we go, Creative Cloud Files. And then you just right click and say add to favorites. Once you add it to favorites, it shows up in the list on the left here. Now this you can also rearrange wherever you want to put them. And you can click on the folder and this will take you directly to your creative cloud folders. And you can also make a favorite out of a subfolder, whatever you like. So here's all my Creative Cloud files. Now, if you wanted to share a folder with somebody, or actually, if you want to collaborate. Now, if you want to collaborate or, you know, share a folder with somebody uh, where both of you, both parties are putting things in, like I do in my classroom, uh, you can do that. Let's go back to our little cloud thing here. Creative Cloud Web. Uh, let's find the folder that's uh, innocent here. So let's say I want to want to share my uh, video class files. I can select it. Up here, there's like a little uh, person icon. Click on that, and you can invite. So now, when you invite somebody, you have to put in their Adobe account email address here. Now also, don't forget, you have to also give them certain permissions. So right now, can view, that means they can only see the files. Uh, they can copy it to their local computer, but they can't delete files or put any files in the folder. Now, if you want them to have access so where they can make changes, uh, you click on the little drop down arrow and probably, I guess this one will be the most. So edit and share. Or even just edit, it's probably good enough.
they'll get a notification if they open up their Adobe Cloud like I just did uh, there's this little bell over here you should see some kind of alert you know one last thing also is uh, when you open up your cloud you know either using the icon on the top here or the icon in the dock and you click on the little cloud up here on top this will also tell you the status of your file syncing so when you see file syncing up to date with the green check mark that means all the files on your local computer and all the files in Adobe's cloud are synchronized. Now also occasionally you might want to pause synchronizing. So if you're going to do a lot of work, uh, you can just pause this. And then when you're done, you can turn it back on. And also a couple of handy things is if you click on the, the gear over here, sometimes also... If, if you're sharing the folder with somebody else and they're constantly updating, it can get annoying. You can turn, go to notifications and you can turn off the file syncing notification. Now this just turns off the notification. It doesn't stop you from syncing. So here we go. So now we are synchronizing. Now we're, and we're synchronized. Some other things that might help you out when you're using your finder. Well, let's go to, the, to a new window. So try to remember command N to open a new window. You can tell your Mac what you want to be the default window uh, when you open up a new window. So that will be under the finder preferences. So up on top here, go to finder preferences, uh, general. You can tell at what finder window do you want to see when you first open up your finder. Now, if you wanted to, you can set your creative cloud as your default, uh, but desktop is okay because it's very easy to get to your, your creative cloud over here. Now, one thing I don't recommend actually, uh, you know, when you're trying to organize your files, if you go to recents, and because a lot of times you don't know where you're saving your files. So the best thing is to be organized, you know, create folders for yourself, no matter where you put them. So probably either in documents or in your creative cloud files or in, or in your Google Drive over here. So whatever you have over here. So create a folder for yourself, you know, that makes sense and organize things that way. Now, another helpful tip in Finder is uh, if you have your Finder window open, uh, you can also show the path. So if you go up here to view, you can go down the list here and say, where is it? Show path bar. And there you go. So here's the path. So here's the hard drive, users, Tony, desktop. Here's the hard drive, users, Tony, creative cloud files, etc. So this also, you know, helps you know where you are. Uh, there's also a little icon up here that also shows you uh, your path. So here we go. Tony Creative Cloud. Uh, this you can put in. Oh, so another thing you can do from the view menu is go to Customize Toolbar. And then find the, the icon that you want to put in. You see what mine are shimmering. And just drag the icon into the toolbar over here. And that's it. So I think you should be okay.